What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today I thought we would open a starter deck, Kaiba. This is another one, just sort of like the Yuki one, where uh, it was already open, the seals have been broken, of course, so that's the reason I'm going to go ahead and do an opening on these, because uh, when they're sealed, they're worth a pretty good amount of money, and I have some extra ones of these that are I am selling, of course. So yeah, though, let's go ahead and open this. All the cards are here and everything as well, though. So yeah, it's still going to be an awesome opening. It's fun to open up some of these uh, older starter decks, too see some of the older cards. Also, please tell me if you guys uh, kind of enjoy the new style I'm trying out. I don't know. Like I said, my camera, there's so many settings on it, I'm trying out all kinds of different ways. So yeah, we have the rule book, of course. Rule book looks really awesome. I like how they actually like put the character on it and stuff. I don't think in the newer ones they do. They like have just the Yu-Gi-Oh on it. I guess they're trying to look all professional, but it needs the character on it. Let's see if I can get the play mat undone. I will show that. There is no difference in the playmats, unfortunately. It would have been cool if they would have, like, Kaba on one and then Yugi on the other or something. But yeah, though, here's the playmat. Alright, now for the Kaba one. This one's actually sealed, though, like this. Our Yugi one wasn't. Dang plastic. There we go. I always try to be careful with this plastic stuff because I don't want to like bend the card or something. And there we go. Let's see. Of course, we got Blue Eyes White Dragon, the main card I'm sure everyone wanted out of this. It's a mean card back in the day. Still is though. Lord of D. See the flute of summoning dragons. Used to be a pretty evil combo. Skull Red Bird. Uh, Gagaku Mayumi. I've never understood how to pronounce this card to be honest. So forgive me for that. Uh, Reverse Trap, Dark Titan of Terror, The Ogre of the Black Shadow, Monster Reborn, The Wicked Worm Beast, Ryukushin Power, uh, uh, Ejuvenation, I don't really know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry. Uh, two Prolonged Attack, played this game since basically it started and I still don't know how to pronounce some of these cards, so I'm really sorry for that. Uh, Pale Beast, Remove Trap, Unknown Warrior of Fiend, uh, Kyogasi, I don't know. <laughs> some of the older cards seem like they're even harder to pronounce than some of the newer ones. And I thought the Nordic cards were hard to pronounce, good grief. Uh, Rude Kaiser, Ultimate Offering, great card. Fisher, another great card. Kamori Dragon, Trap Master, uh, Ancient Telescope, Sword Stalker, Reinforcements, Battle Ox, Mystic Horseman, those two are really cool. I like their uh, fusion rabbit horseman. Rogue Doll, Dark Hole, Mystic Clown, uh, Destroyer Golem, The Inexperienced Spy, Castle Walls, Mysterious Puppeteer, Terra the Terrible, Gravy, uh, Sogan, Legend, The Mystical Genie of the Lamp, one of the longest names I think in the game. Probably was the longest name back then. I don't know, we have like Blood Luster Soldier and of course Interplanetary Purple Thorny Dragon. Just Desserts. D Human. Uzaki, I think that's how it's pronounced. That's a kind of a funny card. Uh, Judge Man. Dark Assailant. Hain Hain. Trap Hole. D Spell. Uh, Master and Expert. Ryukushin. Dark Energy and Hinatsumi Giant. So yeah, that is the whole Kaba starter deck back in the day. That was These are the first starter decks, of course, the Yugi and the Kaba one. And uh, they're really awesome. I mean, there's still a lot of uh, competitive cards, actually, in the starter decks. So yeah, that, I think that's pretty cool in itself. I mean, you have a few staples. Uh, you have, of course, uh, Dark Magician and Blue Eyes, of course, out of each of the starter decks, which is worth it in itself. These aren't very easy to find. Like I said, I have a few extra ones if anyone wants to buy them or anything, you know. But yeah, they're a lot of fun to open just because, uh, especially since I believe it's the 10th anniversary of Yu-Gi-Oh, so I figured this would be a great way uh, to kind of celebrate it. So yeah, I love the Blows White Dragon. Of course, I'm keeping the cards from the starter decks because uh, they're just really awesome looking, you know. So yeah, anyway, uh, please tell me, of course, what you guys think back then. Uh, what card did you use the most back in the day? I, I actually got the Joey deck as my first starter deck, which I'll have to try to find some time and do an opening over that. Because uh, I wanted polymerization, I wanted to use fusion monsters. And of course, I thought Red Eyes was pretty awesome as well.
Although I remember my friends always using blue eyes against me, and that was a pain back in the day. That's why I'm saying that uh, Man Eater Bug used to be a staple back in the day because it could get rid of a card like blue eyes. So yeah, though, please tell me, of course, what you guys think. And uh, please subscribe for more openings. We have lots of great openings. Have some ten openings, all kinds of stuff. Please tell me if you like this new style of videos. I thought I would do this for the starter decks. And uh, yeah, we have all kinds of stuff coming in the mail that we're gonna do some openings over. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. All right, later, guys. Hey guys, this is Cybernet8610. Thanks for watching my latest video. Please subscribe and check out my Facebook page to stay updated on everything Yu-Gi-Oh! Later guys!